Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a while. I've been uh, having a lot of problems with this guy. Some of you may have seen it in uh, one of my last videos. I did a rebuild um, and it basically pfft, rolled death and I've been fighting to get it working, but it's working now, so we'll have some more videos on this coming up. Um, but what I wanted to share with you guys is something I've been working on, and that is uh, some 3D printed frames. So here's uh, my first crack at it. Uh, so that's uh, the very bottom piece there. Got the top and bottom pieces. These are identical, just the difference is the, the thickness. And then the arms. So this is a five inch, five inch frame, and all the arms are identical. So in the event that uh, anything breaks, it's easy to replace. Um, yeah, all the the arms are interlocking. So well, hopefully they're interlocking when it goes together. There we go. So the pieces interlock like that. Um, so this is just uh, sort of a prototype print. You can see the quality is not very good. Uh, it's not printed at 100% either, so don't expect, you know, to be very rigid. It's just to, just to see how it goes. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly throw this together and we'll have a look at it once it's done. The tolerances on this build are very, very tight. They all fit perfect. Look at that. Got area here for battery strap. I also built this little uh, antenna holder. So you have your two antenna holes and they come up over there, your VTX antenna could go on there. Alright, so there you go. I mean, you guys get the idea, so obviously there's, you can put four more screws in there. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Um, overall everything went together quite well. I kind of like the design. I got, uh, you know, you can put a battery strap here, battery strap here, uh, battery strap through the bottom here. Uh, if you want to do under slung battery or top battery, I presume the top battery would probably work better. Um, it's it's got mounting holes for a 30 by 30, um, as well as I think I did a 16 by 16 there for some reason. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Um, there's another 30 by 30 on the top plate here, obviously, because they're identical. Uh, so you could potentially mount something to the, to the bottom. Um, and then you have another 16 by 16 here. So if you had a VTX or something that was 16 by 16, you can mount it back there. Uh, there's also holes here. You could take this off and, and uh, use zip ties to mount your VTX. Uh, I've got these holes here on the bottom so you can mount your camera if you wanted to, uh, depending on how you want to mount your camera, or you could mount it to the, the standoffs there. Overall, I think it looks quite good. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this one. Uh, so this is the five inch. Looks pretty good. And uh, oh, and yeah, and I, I modeled this in uh, Fusion 360. Uh, so all three the all three frames that I've done so far are in Fusion 360. Um, let me know what you guys think.